And do you really want to be micro-needling your balls? Someone sent me a question, should I micro-needling before putting on my testosterone gel? Would it be a good option to increase the absorption of it? And if so, how long should the needles be? First of all, micro-needling before putting on an alcohol-based testosterone gel is a bad idea. The alcohol-based gel will sting into the wounds that you make with the micro-needling device, whether it be a derma roller or a derma stamp. If you are using testosterone cream 10 or 20%, you could do micro-needling, but as we all know, we prefer the scrotal skin for best absorption. And then you can ask the question, is it really necessary to even to try to increase the absorption of testosterone cream on the scrotum by micro-needling that skin? And really, and do you really want to be micro-needling your balls to increase absorption of a testosterone cream that already works perfectly without it? The only way I see you combining microneedling with testosterone cream, not gel, is if you put the cream on another spot on your body, for example, the belly or the shoulders, then you in could increase the absorption by microneedling it. And then I would really advise needles one to two millimeters of depth. That would be a little bit painful doing that twice a day. And even that doing microneedling twice a day on the same area is not a real idea. So you should rotate areas and so on. The short answer to your question would be no, don't combine microneedling with testosterone gel nor the cream since the cream is on your balls and it already works perfectly without the microneedling. See you in the next one.